I didn't actually pick up a musical instrument until I was like 17 years old. Um, I grew up listening to music. My parents were big into music. And it was for my, throughout my childhood and my early adolescence and even into my <laughs> later adolescence, music was the primary language for my emotional and spiritual experience of life. It was the, it was the language I found that helped me make the most sense out of what was going on in and around me, socially, emotionally, spiritually. So from, you know, from the police uh, to uh, Jackson Brown, to uh, Run DMC, to Stevie Wonder, to The Smiths and The Cure, to Rage Against the Machine, music continued to, to meet me in places that I needed to be met and provide language for the moment I was in. So when I started my own spiritual journey at 18 years old, what music did for me was provide a way for me to place my own language and write my own language into the world that continues to be about that. Not just for me though, but I hope to do that in a way as a songwriter, as a performer, a storyteller, that as I put my best language around my experience of life and of God and of people, that something about the way I've said or written or sung something sparks something for you, provides a language for you, shapes something for you, inspires something for you. Seth Godin said that art is anything that we create that forges a connection between people. Early on, one of the things that music did was help me forge a connection with myself, and later on provide, provided a language that, by which I could actually begin to connect with God. I hope to do that exact same thing with my songs, with my stories.